Vladivostok Russian Vladivostok IPA Vild VSTOK Listen literally ruler of the east is a city in the administrative center of the far eastern federal district and Primorsky Krai Russia located around the Golden Horn Bay not far from Russia's borders with China and North Korea The population of the city as of 2018 was 604901 up from 592034 recorded in the 2010 Russian census Harbin in China is about 515 kilometers, 320 miles away, while Sapporo in Japan is about 775 kilometers, 482 miles east across the Sea of Japan. The city is the home port of the Russian Pacific Fleet and is the largest Russian port on the Pacific coast. Topic: <laughs> Names and etymology. Vladivostok was first named in 1859 along with other features in the Peter the Great Gulf area by Nikolai Muravyov Amersky. The name first applied to the bay but, following an expedition by Alexei Shefner in 1860, was applied to the new settlement. In Chinese, the place where the city is situated nowadays has been known since the Qing dynasty as Haishanwai, Haikanwai Haishanwai, from the Manchu Haizanwai, Manchu, Mollendorf, Haizanwai, Abkai, Haixanwai, or small seaside village. In modern day China, Vladivostok is officially known by the transliteration Fu La Diwo Si Tuok, ok, although the historical Chinese name Haikanwai is still often used in common parlance and outside mainland China to refer to the city. According to the provisions of the Chinese government, all maps published in China have to bracket the city's Chinese name. The modern day Japanese name of the city is transliterated as Urajiosatuko. Historically, the city was written in kanji as Puyan Sida and shortened to Urigio Urigio Puyan History The aboriginals of the territory on which modern Vladivostok is located are the Udij minority, and a sub-minority called the Taz which emerged through members of the indigenous Udij mixing with the nearby Chinese and Het. The region had been part of many states, such as the Mohe, Balhai Kingdom, Liao Dynasty, Jin Dynasty, Yuan Dynasty, Ming Dynasty, Qing Dynasty and various other Chinese dynasties, before Russia acquired the entire maritime province and the island of Sakhalin by the Treaty of Beijing 1860. King China, which had just lost the Opium War with Britain, was unable to defend the region. The Manchu emperors of China, the Qing dynasty, banned Han Chinese from most of Manchuria including the Vladivostok area see Willow Palisade. It was only visited by illegal gatherers of ginseng and sea cucumbers. On 20 June 1860 the, 2nd of July for Gregorian style, the military supply ship Mancha, under the command of Captain Lieutenant Alexei K. Shefner, called at the Golden Horn Bay to found an outpost called Vladivostok. Warrant officer Nikolai Komarov with 28 soldiers and two non-commissioned officers under his command were brought from Nikolaevsky on a moor by ship to construct the first buildings of the future city. The Manza War in 1868 was the first attempt by Russia to expel Chinese from territory it controlled. Hostilities broke out around Vladivostok when the Russians tried to shut off gold mining operations and expel Chinese workers there. The Chinese resisted a Russian attempt to take Ashild Island and in response, two Russian military stations and three Russian towns were attacked by the Chinese whom the Russians failed to oust. An elaborate system of fortifications was erected between the early 1870s and the late 1890s. A telegraph line from Vladivostok to Shanghai and Nagasaki was opened in 1871. That same year a commercial port was relocated to Vladivostok from Nikolaevsky on Amur. Town status was granted on the 22nd of April 1880. A coat of arms, representing the Siberian tiger, was adopted in March 1883. The first high school was opened in 1899. The city's economy was given a boost in 1916, with the completion of the Trans Siberian Railway, which connected Vladivostok to Moscow and Europe. After the October Revolution, the Bolsheviks took control of Vladivostok and all the Trans Siberian Railway. 
During the Russian Civil War, from May 1918, they were overthrown by the white allied Czechoslovak Legion, who declared the city to be an allied protectorate. Vladivostok became the staging point for the Allies' Siberian intervention, a multinational force including Japan, the United States, and China. China sent forces to protect the local Chinese community after demands on their merchants. The intervention ended in the wake of the collapse of the White Army and regime in 1919. All Allied forces except the Japanese withdrew by the end of 1920. In April 1920, the city came under the formal governance of the Far Eastern Republic, a Soviet-backed buffer state between the Soviets and Japan. Vladivostok then became the capital of the Japanese-backed Provisional Primary Government, created after a White Army coup in the city in May 1921. The withdrawal of Japanese forces in October 1922 spelt the end of the enclave, with Ironom Ubarovich's Red Army taking the city on 25 October 1922. As the main naval base of the Soviet Pacific Fleet, Vladivostok was officially closed to foreigners during the Soviet years. The city hosted the summit at which Leonid Brezhnev and Gerald Ford conducted the strategic arms limitation talks in 1974. At the time, the two countries decided quantitative limits on nuclear weapons systems and banned the construction of new land-based ICBM launches. In 2012, Vladivostok hosted the 24th APEC summit. Leaders from the APEC member countries met at Rusky Island, off the coast of Vladivostok. With the summit on Rusky Island, the government and private businesses inaugurated resorts, dinner and entertainment facilities, in addition to the renovation and upgrading of Vladivostok International Airport. Two giant cable stayed bridges were built in preparation for the summit, namely the Zolotoy Rog Bridge over the Zolotoy Rog Bay in the center of the city, and the Rusky Island Bridge from the mainland to Rusky Island the longest cable stayed bridge in the world. The new campus of Far Eastern Federal University was completed on Rusky Island in 2012. Locals call Vladivostok also Vladik. Topic: <laughs> Geography. The city is located in the southern extremity of Muravyov Amursky Peninsula, which is about 30 kilometers (19 miles) long and 12 kilometers (7.5 miles) wide. The highest point is Mount Kolodilnik, 257 meters (843 feet). Eagle's Nest Hill is often called the highest point of the city, but, with a height of only 199 metres 653 feet, or 214 metres 702 feet according to other sources, it is the highest point of the downtown area, but not of the whole city. Located in the extreme southeast of Asian Russia, Vladivostok is geographically closer to Anchorage, Alaska and even Darwin, Australia than it is to the nation's capital of Moscow. In fact, Vladivostok is closer to Honolulu, Hawaii than to the Russian city of Sochi. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Climate. Vladivostok has a monsoon-influenced humid continental climate, Köppen climate classification DWB, with warm, humid and rainy summers and cold, dry winters. Owing to the influence of the Siberian high, winters are far colder than a latitude of 43 degrees north should warrant given its low elevation and coastal location, with a January average of minus 12.3 degrees Celsius 9.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Since the maritime influence is strong in summer, this results in a relatively cold annual climate given said latitude. Vladivostok's yearly mean of around 5 degrees Celsius 41 degrees Fahrenheit is some 10 degrees lower than in cities on the French Riviera on a similar coastal latitude in Europe on the other extreme. Winters especially are around 20 degrees Celsius 36 degrees Fahrenheit colder than on the mildest coastlines this far north. In winter, temperatures can drop below minus 20 degrees Celsius minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit while mild spells of weather can raise daytime temperatures above freezing. The average monthly precipitation, mainly in the form of snow, is around 18.5 mm .73 in from December to March. 
Snow is common during winter, but individual snowfalls are light, with a maximum snow depth of only 5 cm in, in January. During winter, clear sunny days are common. Summers are warm, humid and rainy, due to the East Asian monsoon. The warmest month is August, with an average temperature of plus 19.8 degrees Celsius Vladivostok receives most of its precipitation during the summer months, and most summer days see some rainfall. Cloudy days are fairly common and because of the frequent rainfall, humidity is high, on average about 90% from June to August. On average, Vladivostok receives 840 mm in per year, but the driest year was 1943, when 418 mm in of precipitation fell, and the wettest was 1974, with 1,272 mm in of precipitation. The winter months from December to March are dry, and in some years they have seen no measurable precipitation at all. Extremes range from minus 31.4 degrees Celsius minus 24.5 degrees Fahrenheit in January 1931 to plus 33.6 degrees Celsius 92.5 degrees Fahrenheit in July 1939. Topic: <laughs> Politics. Head of the city of Vladivostok on the principles of unity of command directs the administration of the city of Vladivostok in accordance with federal laws, the laws of the Primorsky Krai, and the charter of the city. The structure of the city administration has the city council at the top. The responsibilities of the administration of Vladivostok are Exercise of the powers to address local issues of Vladivostok in accordance with federal laws, normative legal acts of the Duma of Vladivostok, decrees and orders of the head of the city of Vladivostok The development and organization of the concepts, plans and programs for the development of the city, approved by the Duma of Vladivostok Development of the draft budget of the city Ensuring implementation of the budget Control the use of territory and infrastructure of the city Possession, use and disposal of municipal property in the manner specified by decision of the Duma of Vladivostok Other authority in accordance with Article 6 of the Charter, as well as powers delegated by federal law, the laws of the jurisdiction of Primorsky Krai Executive and Administrative Body of the Local Government of City District, legislative authority is vested in the City Council. The new city council began operations in 2001 and on 21 June, deputies of the Duma of the First Convocation of Vladivostok began their work. On 17 December 2007, the Duma of the Third Convocation began. The deputies consist of 35 elected members, including 18 members chosen by a single constituency, and 17 deputies from single mandate constituencies. Administrative and municipal status Vladivostok is the administrative center of the Krai. Within the framework of administrative divisions, it is, together with five rural localities, incorporated as Vladivostok City under Krai jurisdiction—an administrative unit with the status equal to that of the districts. As a municipal division, Vladivostok City under Krai jurisdiction is incorporated as Vladivostoksky Urban Okrieg. Demographics The population of the city, according to the 2010 census, is 592,034, down from 594,701 recorded in the 2002 census. This is further down from 633,838 recorded in the 1989 census. Following the 2009 recession the population of the city has continuously increased to 606,653 as of 2016 ethnic Russians make up the majority of the population. Economy The city's main industries are shipping, commercial fishing, and the naval base. 
Fishing accounts for almost four-fifths of Vladivostok's commercial production. Other food production totals 11%. A very important employer and a major source of revenue for the city's inhabitants is the import of Japanese cars. Besides salesmen, the industry employs repairmen, fitters, import clerks as well as shipping and railway companies. The Vladivostok dealers sell 250,000 cars a year, with 200,000 going to other parts of Russia. Every third worker in the Primorsky Krai has some relation to the automobile import business. In recent years, the Russian government has made attempts to improve the country's own car industry. This has included raising tariffs for imported cars, which has put the car import business in Vladivostok in difficulties. To compensate, Prime Minister Vladimir Putin ordered the car manufacturing company Solars to move one of its factories from Moscow to Vladivostok. The move was completed in 2009, and the factory now employs about 700 locals. It is planned to produce 13,200 cars in Vladivostok in 2010. Topic: Transportation. The Trans-Siberian Railway was built to connect European Russia with Vladivostok, Russia's most important Pacific Ocean port. Finished in 1905, the rail line ran from Moscow to Vladivostok via several of Russia's main cities. Part of the railroad, known as the Chinese Eastern Line, crossed over into China, passing through Harbin, a major city in Manchuria. Today, Vladivostok serves as the main starting point for the Trans-Siberian portion of the Eurasian Land Bridge. Vladivostok is the main air hub in the Russian Far East. Vladivostok International Airport VVO is the home base of Aurora Airline, a Russian Far East Air Carrier, a subsidiary of Aeroflot. The airline was formed by Aeroflot in 2013 by amalgamating SAT Airlines and Vladivostok Avia. The Vladivostok International Airport was significantly upgraded in 2013 with a new 3,500-meter runway capable of accommodating all aircraft types without any restrictions. The Terminal A was built in 2012 with a capacity of 3.5 million passengers per year. International flights connect Vladivostok with Japan, China, Philippines and Vietnam. It is possible to get to Vladivostok from several of the larger cities in Russia. Regular flights to Seattle, Washington, were available in the 1990s but have been cancelled since. Vladivostok Air was flying to Anchorage, Alaska, from July 2008 to 2013. Before its transformation into Aurora Airline, Vladivostok is the starting point of Ashuri Highway M60 to Khabarovsk, the easternmost part of Trans Siberian Highway that goes all the way to Moscow and St. Petersburg via Novosibirsk. The other main highways go east to Nakhadka and south to Kharson. Urban transportation On 28 June 1908, Vladivostok's first tram line was started along Svetlanskaya Street, running from the railway station on Lugovaya Street. On 9 October 1912, the first wooden cars manufactured in Belgium entered service. Today, Vladivostok's means of public transportation include trolleybus, bus, tram, train, funicular, and ferryboat. The main urban traffic lines are city center — Vitoria Rechka, city center — Pervaya Rechka, 3R Rabashaya — Balyayeva, and city center — Lugovaya Street. In 2012, Vladivostok hosted the 24th summit of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation APEC forum. In preparation for the event, the infrastructure of the city was renovated and improved. Two giant cable stayed bridges were constructed in Vladivostok, namely the Zolotoy Roj Bridge over the Golden Horn Bay in the center of the city, and the Rusky Bridge from the mainland to Rusky Island, where the summit took place. The latter bridge is the longest cable stayed bridge in the world. Port. The port is ice-free all year round, with the help of icebreakers, and in 2002 had a foreign trade turnover worth $275 million. 
In 2015, a special economic zone has been settled with the free port of Vladivostok. Topic: <inaudible> Education. <inaudible> Vladivostok is home to numerous educational institutions, including 5 universities: Far Eastern Federal University, Maritime State University, Far Eastern State Technical Fisheries University Vladivostok State University of Economics and Service Vladivostok State Medical University Pacific State Medical University the presidium of the Far Eastern Division of the Russian Academy of Sciences Voran as well as 10 of its research institutes are also located in Vladivostok as is the Pacific Research Institute of Fisheries and Oceanography Tihokinskay Norkno Isladovatelskay Rybohozystvenij Center or Tinro Topic Media Over 50 newspapers and regional editions to Moscow publications are issued in Vladivostok. The largest newspaper of the Primorsky Krai and the whole Russian Far East is Vladivostok News with a circulation of 124,000 copies at the beginning of 1996. Its founder, joint stock company Vladivostok News, also issues a weekly English-language newspaper Vladivostok News. The subjects of the publications issued in these newspapers vary from information about Vladivostok and Primory, to major international events. Newspaper Zolotoy Roj Golden Horn gives every detail of economic news, entertainment materials and cultural news constitute a larger part of Novosti news newspaper which is the most popular among Primorize young people. Also, new online mass media about the Russian Far East for foreigners is the Far East Times. This source invites readers to take part in informational support of RFE for visitors, travelers and businessmen. Vladivostok operates many online media outlets, Newsville, Primamedia, and Primory24. As of 1999, there are also seven radio stations, the most popular being 24-hour VBC 612 kHz, 101.7 and Europa Plus 738 kHz, 104.2 MHz. Europa Plus normally broadcasts popular modern British American music, while the ratio of Russian and foreign songs over VBC is 50-50. Every hour one can hear local news over these radio stations. Radio Vladivostok 1098 kHz operates from 6 o'clock till 1 o'clock. It broadcasts several special programs which are devoted to the music of the 1950s to 1980s as well as New Age. Topic: Culture Theatre Maxim Gorky Academic Theatre, named after the Russian author Maxim Gorky, was founded in 1931 and is used for drama, musical and children's theatre performances. In September 2012, a granite statue of the actor Yul Brynner was inaugurated in Yul Brynner Park, directly in front of the house where he was born at 15 Aloitskaya Street. Topic. Museums The Arsenyev Primory Museum, Primorskij Gosudostvenij Abedinenij Muay Ameni Vk Arseneva opened in 1890, is the main museum of the Primorsky Krai. Besides the main facility, it has three branches in Vladivostok itself including Arsenyev's Memorial House, and five branches elsewhere in the state. Among the items in the museum's collection are the famous 15th-century Yongning Temple steels from the Lower Amur. Music The city is home to the Vladivostok Pops Orchestra. Russian rock band Mummy Troll hails from Vladivostok and frequently puts on shows there. In addition, the city hosted the International Music Festival in September 1996. 
Hosted by the mayor and governor, and organized by two young American expatriates, the festival drew nearly 10,000 people and top-tier musical acts from St. Petersburg and, DDT and Seattle Supersuckers, goodness, as well as several leading local bands. Nowadays there is another annual music festival in Vladivostok, Vladivostok Rocks International Music Festival and Conference v -Rocks. Vladivostok Rocks is a three-day open-air city festival and international conference for the music industry and contemporary cultural management. It offers the opportunity for aspiring artists and producers to gain exposure to new audiences and leading international professionals. The Russian Opera House houses the State Primorsky Opera and Ballet Theatre. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Parks and Squares. Parks and squares in Vladivostok include Pokrovsky Park, Mini Gorodok, Detsky Razvlakotelny Park, Park of Sergeya Lazo, Admiralsky Skur, Skurium, Neveskogo, Nagorny Park, Skurium, Sukhanova, Fantasia Park, Skur Rybatskoy Slavy, Skurium, Ai Shatininoy. Pokrovsky Park Pokrovsky Park was once a cemetery. Converted into a park in 1934 but was closed in 1990. Since 1990 the land the park sits on belongs to the Russian Orthodox Church. During the rebuilding of the Orthodox Church, graves were found. <laughs> Mini Gorodok Mini Gorodok is a 91-acre public park. Mini Gorodok means, ''Mine Borough Park'' in English. The park is a former military base that was founded in 1880. The military base was used for storing mines in underground storage. Converted into a park in 1985, Mini Gorodok contains several lakes, ponds, and an ice skating rink. Topic: Detsky Razvlakotelny Park. Detsky Razvlakotelny Park is a children's amusement park located near the center of the city. The park contains a carousel, gaming machines, a Ferris wheel, cafes, an aquarium, cinema, and a stadium. Topic: Admiralsky Skur. Admiralsky Skur is a landmark located near the city's center. The square is an open space, dominated by the Triumphania Arca. South of the square sits a museum of Soviet submarine S-56. Pollution <inaudible> 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 Local ecologists from the Ecocenter organization have claimed that much of Vladivostok's suburbs are polluted and that living in them can be classified as a health hazard. The pollution has a number of causes, according to Ecocenter geochemical expert Sergei Shlikov. Vladivostok has about 80 industrial sites, which may not be many compared to Russia's most industrialized areas, but those around the city are particularly environmentally unfriendly, such as shipbuilding and repairing, power stations, printing, fur farming, and mining. In addition, Vladivostok has a particularly vulnerable geography which compounds the effect of pollution. Winds cannot clear pollution from some of the most densely populated areas around the Purvaya and Vitoria Rechka as they sit in basins which the winds blow over. In addition, there is little snow in winter and no leaves or grass to catch the dust to make it settle down. <laughs> Sports Vladivostok is home to the football club FC Luch Energy of Vladivostok, who plays in the Russian First Division, ice hockey club Admiral Vladivostok from the Continental Hockey League's Chernyshev Division, and basketball club Spartak Primori, who plays in the Russian Basketball Super League. <laughs> Twin towns and sister cities Vladivostok is twinned with 
In 2010, arches with the names of each of Vladivostok's twin towns were placed in a park within the city. From Vladivostok Ferry Port next to the train station, a ferry of the DBS Cruise Ferry travels regularly to Donghai, South Korea, and from there to Sakai Minato on the Japanese main island of Honshu. Notable people Topic. See also 32nd Rifle Division Soviet Union List of East Asian ports <laughs>